Well, the race we've been waiting for for quite a while is here, guys. The Ford 400 at Homestead Miami Speedway. The last race of the season where we will crown a champion. And after, I didn't think it was gonna happen. The biggest change in points that I, I didn't expect the last week. I thought James McLeod or Cody Birmingham was gonna come out with a point lead. But with them having such poor finishes, I didn't even realize Cam Hawes took that much advantage, finished second. He carapulled himself from sixth to first after last week's race with that second place finish. So Cam Hawes basically just went from 36 down to leading the whole entire thing. But it's so tight between first and fourth with Cody Birmingham only two points back. And Jake Rogers, three points back. I mean, just, like, look at this. You already saw it in the standings and everything are on the thing. And it's just insane. Let me fast forward this real quick. I forgot to. Drivers, start this. But, we'll crown a champion here. Wow. Oops, I got a little farther. I wanted to, but oh well. But we're looking here. And the guys, they're competing for it. The top seven in points are still eligible to win it. Dylan Pote is seven, 41 points back. Cam Hall is made up from 36 points back, and he's up by two. So it's a 38-point turnaround. So, I mean, it's possible, but it's a long shot. But you never know now. Cam Hall came in here as the point, new point leader. By two points over Cody Birmingham, three points over Jake Rogers, and six over James McLeod. Jacob Embry is 26 back, Derek Walker is 29 back, and Dylan Pogge is 41 back. Taylor Orndorff, 53 points on back. Him, Josh Harris, Ralph Green, Andre Castro, and Matthew Rodriguez are mathematically eliminated from winning the championship. So, it's a seven-car battle for the championship, but I'm mainly looking at the top four, the 66, the 43, the 2, and the 83. But don't count out the 0, 1, 32, or 18. But, uh... Look at the lineup. John Dawson is our pole sitter today. Yes, I kind of started a little too late or stopped it. Um, on the outside of him is the 99 Jace Carmichael. Row two has Taylor Orndorff, last week's winner, who actually catapulted all the way up to eighth in points from dead last in the chase. You got Trent Dunham in fourth, then Dougie Shears and Callum Wells in row three. Row four, Christian Baker, Jacob Embry, who's up there in a good position right now. Highest chaser, or no, second highest chaser. You got Don Poteet, Derek Walker. We'll look back, we'll update, we'll see where everybody is. See Cody Birmingham, there's Jake Rogers. Uh, let me see, hold on. He's starting 12th. Cody Birmingham, 15th. Cam Hall, 16th. James McLeod did not start like up there where he wanted to. He's all the way back here, near the back. There he is. But, 14 laps. Our farthest back chaser today is Josh Harris, starting... 37th. So, last 14 laps of the season. The green flag is in the air, and the 4 400 season finale is underway. John Dawson gets a great start on Jace Carmichael. He's getting help from Taylor Orndorff behind him. So, basically, look at it. Cody Birmingham needs to finish three spots ahead of Cam Hawes. He needs to stay ahead of Jake Rogers, who's only one point back of him. And three points behind them is James McLeod. So, I'll have to look at it precisely, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pinpoint exactly who won the championship in this video. John Dawson still looking for his first win in that 11 car. None of the Dawsons this year have won a race. So they're still looking for one. He leads the first lap, but Taylor Orndorff makes the jump under the or under him for the lead right here in the 91 car. We'll be constantly updating where the guys are. James McLeod is stuck on the high side back here, not going forward, but actually going backwards in this 83 car. And he has to hurry and get back to the bottom or something. His championship helps are going to go down the drain. We look up here now. And Cam Hawes is also on the high side. Got to avoid trouble. This Cam Hawes. Cody Birmingham's actually advanced ahead. But then the real battle comes between Jake Rogers and Cody Birmingham. And Jake Rogers stuck back. So Cody Birmingham is now working his way up. He's actually in the sixth spot. But if he gets kicked up. Oh, they're three wide behind him. Oh, Jack Ridge is going to try to jump under the 43. 
kick him out. He does. Taylor Horndorf continues the lead. He's come off this corner. Still pretty clean so far. We have a lot of three wide racing. And it's Cody Birmingham back there. Here comes Dougie Shears under John Dawson. And now it comes with Jesse Kaplan. There's a lot of guys up here looking for wins and stuff. There's Dalton Pochi, Christian Baker, Jack Richards. And here comes Ralph Green. He's going to come under. He's under the 43 right now. We're up there with everybody. Yeah, last time by. Cody Birmingham last time by was 7th. And Jake Rogers was 20th. Kim Hall was 25th. And James McLeod was 40th. So, not looking good right now for some of these guys. They're looking really good for Cody Birmingham. And James McLeod was dead last last time by. You know he cannot be liking this at all. This is the race. This is the moment of truth right here. He had to capitalize. And this 83 car is definitely not capitalizing this race. Cam Hall is after the huge jump he had last week to not get him go forward. He's just stuck back here. Trying to work his way back up. Jake Rogers is slipping back. Me, him and Cody Birmingham were just one point separated. And I thought they were going to be racing up there, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Cody Birmingham is actually starting to fall back in the 43 now. So, got to keep an eye on this. He gave up a few spots. He dropped five spots that lap. He's losing a lot more spots it's on the bottom. He's stuck up there. All the guys are stuck on the top. James McLeod's going to have to finish about four, or he's going to have to finish like five spots ahead of Cody Birmingham to win this. Uh, Jake Rogers has to finish one or two spots ahead of Birmingham, and then they have to see what happens to Cam Hawes. Cam Hawes just needs to make sure he stays in front of those three. Taylor Orndorff continues the lead. Next time by, we'll be halfway. And Jesse Kaplan has made a move under him. Here comes Jesse Kaplan for the lead in the one car. He's still looking for his first win. New leader, Jesse Kaplan. Going to clear Taylor Orndorff and go down the back straightaway here at the Homestead Miami Speedway. And Taylor Orndorff's on it. He's coming right back. Does a crossover and comes right over. Back under him. He's going to take the lead back from Jesse Kaplan. John Dawson trying to work his way up. Here comes Ralph Green. They're Dougie Shears for the fourth spot. Cody Birmingham is still stuck on the high side. We're looking for a competitor that's close to him. That's in the points. The closest person to him. Here comes Jake Rogers. Rogers has gotten to the bottom of the track. The two car is working his way back up. I still do not see Cam Hawes or... James McLeod working their way up. We're keeping an eye on the 43. And Jake Rogers within five cars of Cody Birmingham. He's back there behind Ricky Dargent in the 15 on the bottom. And Taylor Orndorff continues the lead. We're going to look back some more. But Jake Rogers looking for Cam Hawes and James McLeod. James McLeod, 33rd last time by. Cam Hawes is dead last. The point leader coming in the race is running a dead last in that 66 car. Not what he was looking for. He's back in the predicament James McLeod was in. We'll go back up, though. Back up to the leaders. And look, here comes Jake Rogers. He's on the inside of Cody Birmingham. I know this is not for the lead. It's Jesse Kaplan. Continues. He's on the battle for the lead. We've got to keep an eye on this, though. This is a huge battle right here. He gets around now. They're tied. But he gets around Peter Paluzzi. There you go. There's your champion right now. It's Jake Rogers. He is around Cody Birmingham, who could not get away from traffic. And I believe he just got to the bottom, so now it's, it's on now between those two. We're going to go back up to the front. Jesse Kaplan did take the lead. He took it from Taylor Orndorff, and here comes John Dawson for second. He's going to do the slide job right across the front end of that 91 car. Now we're going to see how this is going to go. Taylor Orndorff does another crossover move, this time on John Dawson, to take back the second spot. Ralph Green trying to work his way up there. His teammates right behind him, well, in between them is Tate Stewart, but here, now he's behind him. Aaron Reed trying to work his way up. John Dawson just pulled a Taylor Orndorff and goes under him. Going to cross over him. Try to take the second spot as Jesse Kaplan just drive it off into the sunset, literally. Go well, back to the battle between the one or the two and the 43. And there's a car separating Cody Birmingham and Jake Rogers. That's Heather Todd in between them, but they're still both on the bottom. Oh, this is a huge moment right here. Heather Todd trying to get around Jake Rogers. Oh, Rogers now been put in the middle. What is this going to do now? Heather Todd cannot clear him. He's trying, or she's trying to, I mean. Jake Rogers has to be driving the wheels off of that car. If he can get it clear of her again, this is a really big moment. He can't. He's, and it looks like he's clear now. Will he go back to the bottom? Yes, he will. I think. Oh, Jake Rogers still ahead. We got two laps to go. Looking back again. Cam Hall is only in 41st. James McLeod's trying to work his way up, but he's running out of time in that, in that 83. Go back up here again. Cody Birmingham. At this point, Jake Rogers is right in the spot he needs to be. He's one point ahead of Cody Birmingham. The field is taking the white flag, and Jesse Kaplan is trying to win his first race. 
Jake Rogers trying to get around another person. Here comes Heather Todd to the inside of Jake Rogers. Oh, this is huge right here. Jake Rogers needs to stay in front of that 43, but they're tied. He needs another spot. This is not looking good for Jake Rogers. He needs to get back around on 21. Jake Rogers, they're tied right now virtually. He got to get around this 21 car. They go back up to the front. Jesse Kaplan's going to come off the corner and win the race. He wins the 4 400. It's a drag race to the line. And it's. I believe Jake Rogers edged out Heather Todd. He did. Holy cow. I believe we have our champion in that two car. I'm not 100% sure. And if I'm right, he only came back one point behind Cody Birmingham. It's either the 43 or the two is your champion. But congrats again to Jesse Kaplan. Sorry not to say anything, but Jesse Kaplan is your winner. His first career win in the Mountain Dew Race Series. Wins the Mountain Dew, or the, excuse me, the Ford 400. Everybody sliding through the grass. I don't think Taylor Orndorff wants to follow him to pit road. But I mean, I'm just, I'm a hundred, I'm like really sure that Jake Rogers is our champion. But I mean, just think of, like, he came, okay, so they were two and three points behind in the points behind our champion. Ken Johnson didn't even get to pit road. Okay, so we're going to go back and look at this last lap. Oh, go back. Alright. So they were two and three points behind Cam Hall. And Cam Hall is obviously finished behind him, so he's going to lose the championship. So is James McLeod. Now, nobody else really took advantage. I think Derek Walker was a little bit ahead of him, but he didn't finish much ahead, I don't think. Or Derek, but like, yeah, he was only a couple cars, so it didn't matter. So at this point, there's one point for each car. So when he, when Jake Rogers was just ahead of Cody Birmingham, they were tied. He gained that one point. He was behind Birmingham, but Birmingham had the four wins compared to Rogers' one. So Birmingham would be the champion by the di by taking or by the tiebreaker of victories. But all Jake Rogers had to do is keep say between one car, just gain one more spot to win the championship, I believe. So now here comes Heather Todd. She goes around him. So now they're tied. And this is the moment. I don't think Birmingham got off the corner like he wanted to. And Rogers cleared him back. So right at this point, Cody Birmingham's your champion. So I thought it was over. Heather Todd wobbled right there. Jake Rogers is going to come back under her. And they're going to drag race to the line. And this actually determined the championship, I believe. Jake Rogers drag race with Heather Todd. And I believe this is the distance it was to determine the championship. So, about just like that much difference is probably going to determine the champion. And Jake Rogers came here third in the points, and he's going to probably become our champion. So, I don't know. I was, this is crazy. I never thought it would come down to something like this to determine a championship. And Cody Birmingham sees the championship going away as he edges out Heather Todd. And this, I, be, I really believe Jake Rogers is our champion. So he gained two points on him, and that catapults him around Cody Birmingham, and Jake Rogers is our champion. Your, your season two Mountain Dew Race Series champion is Jake Rogers in the two car, the Dodge Charger, Penske Racing. There is your champion, Jake Rogers in the two. Season two champion, and he is, like I said, the only person going to be able to preserve a car for season three. I was gonna tell everybody that everybody else has to res everybody else don't have to re-sign up, so everybody else is free agents again. You know what I mean? But uh, I wanted to be fair with everybody and give other people opportunity. So if you still want to be in this, sign up quick or whatever. And if those people out there want to sign up and everything, just like don't sort of reserve like five cars for like all these different people. I mean, I'll go. I'm all, I'm all right with three, but uh, I don't want people reserving five cars because there's a lot of people who probably want to be in the Cup Series. Because Nationwide was pretty crazy, and I saw a lot of people doing that, but I'm fine with that. I was just point that out. But uh, just do whatever. Just uh, it's a great, great moment right here for Jake Rogers. Even though he wasn't the the big talk in the chase, he stayed out of problem. Like he, if he was in problems, he he took a, the best advantage of it. He took a 25th place car and finished 15th. He took a 34th place car and finished 22nd. He does that kind of stuff, you know. And I can't believe this championship is going to go down between just one point. That's just the crazy part. But Jake Rogers is our champion. I know it has to be right. 
Here's the results. Congrats, Jesse Kaplan again for winning the race. Taylor Orndorf, John Dawson, Ralph Green gets a good run. Hopefully, it probably boosts them up a little bit in the points. K. Stewart, Jack Richards, Jace Carmichael, Aaron Reed, Dougie Shears, Dylan Poteet, another guy that Chase needed a good run. You got Derek Walker, go down, Ricky Durgeon, Jamie Muckley, Jake Rogers, our season two champion. Congratulations, big time for your accomplishment. Heather Todd, who we edged out. The difference. Let's see. Wow. 1400 or yeah 14 hundreds of a second you see right there 1.531 1.545 that's crazy uh, this is insane Cody Birmingham who seemed like had the most best car all year long worked his butt off to try to stay in front of Jake Rogers and ends up losing the championship by one point I didn't think there was gonna be any way possible to outdo last season's finale but I believe this will be hard to be I don't think this is even gonna be possible one point and it's all that 21 car Jake Rogers edging her out was the, the difference maker of Cody Birmingham being the champion or not and Jake Rogers taking it home or not we'll go down some more final results for the last race Jacob Embry Christian Baker Trent Dunham Michael Cosby top 20 and you look at the rest of the results outside the top 20 looking for some of the guys there James McLeod ended up finishing 24th heartbreaker but he's still gonna get a good top five finish in the points We'll go down some more. Cam Hawes. Uh, he finishes 37th. Heartbreaker for him. After the big boost in points, he got the points stands last week for the first time in his career. Then just has a terrible race today. And loses the championship too as well. But it was a great race. Jesse Kaplan, congratulations. I won the race. First win. But this moment goes to... Your champion this year, Jake Rogers. Now, Jake, if you're watching this, which I probably think you will, congrats on winning the championship. If you're watching this, like I said, um, you are eligible to retain your car since you are the champion. So just message me, hit me up. But, um, I mean, you can't reserve a car for Leo. I mean, you have to re sign him. But if you want this car again, you can. If you don't, then that's fine. But, Congratulations on your championship and the whole Deuce team. The black Deuce, I guess, <laughs> since you're not the blue Deuce. But it was a great season, guys. I had fun and uh, a lot more surprises, especially with cars. Wink, wink. For season three. So I will see you guys for season three. I will throw out an update video soon regarding the points and everything and just awards I'm gonna do that again and I will update you guys on what season three video sign up will be so when I tell you guys just do whatever to try to remember now try to do it at a time where everybody's gonna be home too so I'll probably wait till after school or something so but I will tell you guys and congrats again to Jake Rogers on the championship and Jesse Kaplan on his first win and great season two guys Chase was a big success and I enjoyed you guys please sign up if you want to again for season three for more exciting races to come. And this is the wrap of season two. Peace out guys.